you know, the, the whole issue of a couple of companies like Facebook having control over what you do and do not see is, yes. an, is an enormous problem that yes. nobody, nobody really cares about. I've tried to write about it a few times. I've written a couple of features about it and about how, what a serious problem this is. Like if you look in other countries like um, Israel, uh, China, there, there are a number of companies where you've seen this, this pattern of internet platforms liaising with the government to decide what people can and cannot see. And they'll, they'll say, well, we don't want to see, you know, Palestinian protest movements, or we don't want to see, um, you know, the, the Venezuelan channel, Telesaur, like we want to take that off. You think about how that could end up happening in the United States, and it is already a little bit happening. It's a little bit, but it seems to be happening only in the terms of like to leaning towards the progressive side, which people are okay with. Because mm -hmm. they think, especially in the light of Donald Trump being in office, this is acceptable censorship. Yeah, but they're, I, mean, I think they're wrong about I that. I think they're wrong about that, too. Yeah, yeah and, it's, and, it's terribly and dangerous. It's very short-sighted. Yes. And, and, they, and, and I think there's, there's also this thing that happens with um, people where they think, oh, this is never going to happen to me. You know, like, uh, you can do that bad thing to this person that I don't like, but, you know, right. as long as it's never going to happen to me. Exactly. But they're wrong. I mean, history shows it always does happen to you, you know? And right. that's, so we're, we're giving these companies an enormous amount of power to decide, all kinds of things, what we, what we look at, um, what, what kind of political ideas we